Mercia was one of the kingdoms of the Anglo-Saxon Heptarchy. The name is a Latinization of the Old English Mears or Mercia, meaning border people. The kingdom was centered on the valley of the river Trent and its tributaries, in the region now known as the English Midlands. The kingdom's capital was the town of Tamworth, which was the seat of the Mercian kings from at least around AD 584, when King Creoda built a fortress at the town. For 300 years, having annexed or gained submissions from five of the other six kingdoms of the Heptarchy, Mercia dominated England south of the River Humber. This period is known as the Mercian Supremacy. The reign of King Offa, who was best remembered for his dyke which designated the boundary between Mercia and the Welsh kingdoms, is sometimes known as the Golden Age of Mercia. Nicholas Brooks noted that the Mercians stand out as by far the most successful of the various early Anglo-Saxon peoples until the later 9th century. Mercia was originally a pagan kingdom, but King Peter converted to Christianity around 656, with Christianity firmly established in the kingdom by the late 7th century. The Diocese of Mercia was founded in 656, with the first bishop, Diemus, based at Repton. After only 13 years at Repton, in 669 the fifth bishop, St. Chad, moved the bishopric to Lichfield, where it has been based ever since. In 691 the Diocese of Mercia became the Diocese of Lichfield, for a brief period between 787 to 799 the diocese was an archbishopric, although it was officially dissolved in 803. The current bishop, Jonathan Bledhill, is the 98th since the diocese was established. At the end of the 9th century, following the invasions of the Vikings and the Great Heathen Army, much of the former Mercian territory was absorbed into the Dane law. At its height the Dane law included London. London, all of East Anglia and most of the north of England. The final Mercian king, Seol Wolf II, died in 879. The kingdom appears to have thereby lost its political independence. Initially it was ruled by a Lord Oriel Dorman under the overlordship of Alfred the Great, who styled himself King of the Anglo-Saxons. The kingdom had a brief period of independence in the mid-10th century and again very briefly in 1016 however by this time it was viewed as a province within the Kingdom of England, not an independent kingdom. Mercia is still used as a geographic designation, and the name is used by wide range of organizations, including military units, public, commercial and voluntary bodies. Mercia in the early Middle Ages Early history Mercia's exact evolution at the start of the Anglo-Saxon era remains more obscure than that of Northumbria, Kent or even Wessex. Mercia developed an effective political structure and adopted Christianity later than the other kingdoms. Archaeological surveys show that Angles settled the land north of the River Thames by the 6th century. The name Mercia is Old English for boundary folk and the traditional interpretation is that the kingdom originated along the frontier between the native Welsh and the Anglo-Saxon invaders. However, Hunter Blair argued an alternative interpretation, that they emerged along the frontier between Northumbria and the inhabitants of the Trent River Valley. While its earliest boundaries will never be known, there is general agreement that the territory that was called the first of the Mercians in the tribal Hydage covered much of South Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire, Staffordshire and northern Warwickshire. The earliest person named in any records as a king of Mercia is Creoda, said to have been the great-grandson of Isel. Coming to power around 584, he built a fortress at Tamworth which became the seat of Mercia's kings. His son Piba succeeded him in 593. Searle, a kinsman of Creoda, followed Piba in 606. In 615, Searle gave his daughter Quinberga in marriage to Edwin, king of Daria, whom he had sheltered while he was an exiled prince. 
Penda and the Mercian supremacy The next Mercian king was Penda, who ruled from about 626 or 633 until 655. Some of what is known about Penda comes from the hostile account of Bede, who disliked him both for being an enemy to Bede's own Northumbria and for being a pagan. However, Bede admits that it was Penda who freely allowed Christian missionaries from Lindisfarne into Mercia, and did not restrain them from preaching. Edwin, who had become not only ruler of the newly unified Northumbria, but Bretwalder, or High King, over the southern kingdoms was defeated and killed by Penda and his ally Cadwallon of Gwynedd in 633, when another Northumbrian king, Oswald, arose and again claimed overlordship of the south. He also was defeated and killed by Penda and his allies in 642 at the Battle of Macefield. In 655, after a period of confusion in Northumbria, Penda brought 30 sub-kings to fight the new Northumbrian king Oswiu at the Battle of Winwood, in which Penda in turn lost the battle and his life. The battle led to a temporary collapse of Mercian power. Penda was succeeded by his son Peter, who converted to Christianity at Repton in 653, and who was set up by Oswiu as an underking, but in the spring of 656 he was murdered and Oswiu assumed direct control of the whole of Mercia. A revolt in 658 threw off Northumbrian domination and resulted in the appearance of another son of Penda, Wolf here who ruled Mercia as an independent kingdom until his death in 675. Wolf here was initially successful in restoring the power of Mercia, but the end of his reign saw a serious defeat by Northumbria. The next king, Ethelred, defeated Northumbria in the Battle of the Trent in 679, settling once and for all the long-disputed control of the former kingdom of Lindsay. Ethelred was succeeded by Coenred son of Wolf here, and both these kings are better known for their religious activities than anything else, but the king who succeeded them in 709, sealed, is said in a letter of St. Boniface to have been a dissolute youth who died insane. So ended the rule of the direct descendants of Penda. At some point before the accession of Ethelbald, the Mercians conquered the region around Roxeter, known to the Welsh as Penguen or the Paradise of Powys. Elegies written in the persona of its dispossessed rulers record the sorrow at this loss. The next important king of Mercia was Ethelbald. For the first few years of his reign he had to face two strong rival kings, Wittred of Kent and Ine of Wessex. But when Wittred died in 725, and Ine abdicated in 726 to become a monk in Rome, Ethelbald was free to establish Mercia's hegemony over the rest of the Anglo-Saxons south of the Humber. Ethelbald suffered a setback in 752, when he was defeated by the West Saxons under Cuthred, but he seems to have restored his supremacy over Wessex by 757. In July 2009, the Staffordshire hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold was discovered in a field near Lichfield in Staffordshire. Lichfield was the religious center of Mercia. The artifacts have tentatively been dated to around AD 600 to 800. Whether the hoard was deposited by Anglo-Saxon pagans or Christians is debated, as is the purpose of the deposit. Reign of Offa and Rise of Wessex after the murder of Ethelbald by one of his bodyguards in 757. A civil war broke out which was concluded with the victory of Offa. Offa was forced to build anew the hegemony over the southern English of his predecessor, and he did this so successfully that he became the greatest king Mercia had ever known. Not only did he win battles and dominate southern England but also he took an active hand in administering the affairs of his kingdom by founding market towns and overseeing the first major issues of gold coins in Britain. He assumed a role in the administration of the Catholic Church in England.
and even negotiated with Charlemagne as an equal. Offer is credited with the construction of Offa's dyke, marking the border between Wales and Mercia. Offer exerted himself to ensure that his son E.C.G. Frith of Mercia would succeed him, but after his death in July 796, E.C.G. Frith survived for only five more months, and the kingdom passed to a distant relative named Cohen Wolf in December 796. In 821, Cohen Wolf was succeeded by his brother Seol Wolf, who demonstrated his military prowess by his attack on and destruction of the fortress of Dugunwe in Gwyneth. The Battle of Elend proved decisive. Beorn Wolf was slain suppressing a revolt amongst the East Angles, and his successor, a former Eildorman named Lou Decker, met the same fate. Another Eildorman, Wiglof, subsequently ruled for less than two years before being driven out of Mercia by Egbert. In 830, Wiglif regained independence for Mercia, but by this time Wessex was clearly the dominant power in England. Wiglif was succeeded by Beor Twelfth. Arrival of the Danes in 852, Burgard came to the throne and with Ethel Wolf of Wessex subjugated North Wales. In 868, Viking invaders occupied Nottingham. The Vikings drove Burgard from his kingdom in 874 and Seol Wolf too took his place. In 877 the Vikings seized the eastern part of Mercia, which became part of the Dane law. Seol Wolf, the last king of Mercia, was left with the western half, and he reigned until 879. From about 883 until 911 Ethelred, lord of the Mercians, ruled Mercia under the overlordship of Wessex. All coins struck in Mercia after the disappearance of Seol Wolf in c. 879 were in the name of the West Saxon king. Ethelred had married Ethelflaed, daughter of Alfred the Great of Wessex, and she assumed power when her husband became ill at some time in the last ten years of his life. After Ethelred's death 911, Ethelflaed ruled as Lady of the Mercians but Edward took control of London and Oxford which Alfred had placed under Ethelred's control. She and her brother continued Alfred's policy of building fortified births, and in 917-18 they were able to conquer the southern Dane law in East Anglia and Danish Mercia. Loss of independence when Ethelfly died in 918, I, Elfwyn, her daughter by Ethelred, succeeded as second lady of the Mercians but within six months Edward had deprived her of all authority in Mercia and taken her into Wessex. References to Mercia and the Mercians continue through the annals recording the reigns of Ethelstan and his successors. Ethelstan himself was raised in Mercia and became its king before he was king of Wessex. In Winchester there was even an attempt to blind Ethelstan as he was seen as an outsider. In 975 King Edgar is described as friend of the West Saxons and protector of the Mercians. A separate political existence from Wessex was briefly restored in 955 to 959, when Edgar became king of Mercia, and again in 1016, when the kingdom was divided between CNUT and Edmund Ironside, CNUT taking Mercia. The last reference to Mercia by name is in the Annal for 1017, when Edric Striana was awarded the government of Mercia by CNUT. The later earls, Leofric, I, Elfgar and Edwin, ruled over a territory broadly corresponding to historic Mercia, but the chronicle does not identify it by name. The Mercians as a people are last mentioned in the Annal for 1049. Mercian Dialect The dialect thrived between the 8th and 13th centuries and was referred to by John Trevisa, writing in 1387 for men of the est with men of the west, as it were under the same party of heaven, accordeth more in sonage of spech than men of the north with men of the south, therefore it is that mercy, that beeth men of Midelengeland, as it were partners of the indes, understandeth better the side languages, northern and southern, than northern and southern understandeth either other.
J.R. R. Tolkien is one of many scholars who have studied and promoted the Mercian dialect of Old English, and introduced various Mercian terms into his Legendrium, especially in relation to the Kingdom of Rowan, otherwise known as the Mark. Not only is the language of Rowan actually represented as the Mercian dialect of Old English, but a number of its kings are given the same names as monarchs who appear in the Mercian royal genealogy, e.g., Freyawine, Frelaf and Eoma, Mercian religion. The first kings of Mercia were pagans, and they resisted the encroachment of Christianity longer than other kingdoms in the Anglo-Saxon Heptarchy. Mercian rulers remained resolutely pagan until the reign of Peter in 656 although this did not prevent him joining coalitions with Christian Welsh rulers to resist Northumbria. The first appearance of Christianity in Mercia, however, had come at least 30 years earlier, following the Battle of Cirencester of 628, when Pendra incorporated the formerly West Saxon territories of HWICCE into his kingdom. The conversion of Mercia to Christianity occurred in the latter part of the 7th century, and by the time of Pender's defeat and death, Mercia was largely surrounded by Christian states. Diema, an Irish monk and one of Oswiu's missionaries was subsequently ordained a bishop, the first to operate in Mercia. Christianity finally gained a foothold in Mercia when Oswiu supported Peter as sub-king of the Middle Angles requiring him to marry Oswiu's daughter, Alchflied, and to accept her religion. Decisive steps to Christianize Mercia were taken by Chad, the fifth bishop to operate in Mercia. This controversial figure was given land by King Wolf here to build a monastery at Lichfield. Evidence suggests that the Lichfield Gospels were made in Lichfield around 730, as in other Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. The many small monasteries established by the Mercian kings allowed the political, military and ecclesiastical leadership to consolidate their unity. Through bonds of kinship, origin of British pound, the British pound originated in the 760s in the Kingdom of Mercia when King Offa introduced the silver penny into the coinage of the time.